Want to learn how to make your blowout last? We've got Patrick Melville of the Patrick Melville Salon. So Patrick, tell me, what can you do before your blowout to make sure it lasts once it's done? First, it starts with your shampoo and your conditioner. Especially in the summer, you don't want to overuse products, but it actually puts a barrier between the heat and your hair. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of the um, volumizing spray, just a little bit around the, the hairline and at the root area to create a little lift. Okay. So break the hair up and spray into the root. Now I'm going to use a, a product called Body Me, and this is just going to add a little bit of something to your length and ends and the root area. Okay. It's, is it like a gel? or? It's a, like a, a, a volumizing gel. Put the product in the palm of your hands. Yeah. An even distribution. Like that. <laughs> and then run it through the hair. And are you pressing it in or is combing yes. it through? And now I'm going to push it into the scalp. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> the next step really is how you approach the blow dry. Okay, so what's I, the best brush to use? I love the Mason Pearson brush. Okay. But what it does, it polishes the hair while it's drying the hair. Oh, so okay. So it, it pumps and shine. So what I like to do is I like to section off and control the blow dry. How big are these sections? They're about an inch. Okay. You know, if you have curly hair, mm -hmm. I would suggest using a nozzle on the blow dryer. But with your hair not being so curly, I'm actually taking the nozzle off. Nozzles, what they do sometimes is they, they concentrate the heat into one spot and they actually can over dry the hair. So we are gonna go ahead and start the blow dry and uh, then we'll talk about some more tips at the end on how to keep your blow dry lasting longer. Sounds great to me. All right, let's do it. Tell me, how long can a blowout last realistically? I would say a good three days. Really? Okay. Yeah. So if I'm headed to the gym, right. what's the first thing I should do to make sure that the style stays? Well, you want to be able to pull your hair off your face. Okay. But what happens when you do a high ponytail? It night? creases. Which you get is that why big crease. Yes. Yeah. So one great trick is if you, every woman has a pair of opaque holes in their in their drawer. I have like fifteen. Yes. Yeah. Do you realize that's one of your best hair tools? I too? did not. I you did can not. make cool hairbands out of the, uh, the opaque holes. It's really simple. You just take um, a pair of holes, cut off the leg part. I cut this part here. So now you're left with the long tube with the toe. What I do is I cut off the toe. You can cut a piece like this, say half of it. So we got half the leg here. Now you have a headband. What you do is you stretch it out okay. and then you just tie it. So I'm going to ask you to hold the front part okay. and I'm going to pull it over. So pull <laughs> it over your neck. Obviously I don't want to mess up the makeup. Oh my gosh, look at like that. Kind of cool. Headband. <laughs> Headband. Now, obviously, now you have a little bit left over. Let's make a ponytail hold it. Take off, I'd say about there, two okay. to three inches, because otherwise they become very big. Oh, well, look at so that. So there. So you went through the leg opening? Yeah, this is part of the leg. Okay. And then I just fold it a couple of times. And why, why this doesn't snag on the hair, it's because it's, it's nylon. It's oh. got enough stretch and that it won't And it's got enough stretch where it'll grab the hair. Okay. And won't leave that crease on the hair and then you have a ponytail. Amazing. So when you're done working out, you can you're take done it. working out, take no out No crease. A lot of the times when you, when you exercise or you, know, you want to rejuvenate the, um, the blow dry, it uh -huh. usually comes from the root because obviously we sweat from the root. Yes. So what I do is I'll take a little bit of the dry shampoo. I love the Aveeno's dry shampoo because it doesn't take the shine out of the hair. And then I just light mist at the roots. Take a blow dryer okay. and just run your fingers through the hair just to rejuvenate and distribute it through. And my blow dry will last. It's amazing. It's, it's so dry. up. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. Too not, not too much here. width. So if you have a really narrow, small face, be aware of where the sides of the sunglass are spilling over.